Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. I am Fariha and in this video I gonna discuss about seven genera of brachiopods. So let's start. First of all, I want to talk about Terebratula. The shell of this Terebratula is bivalve, oval shaped and biconvex in outline and the surface of the shell is smooth. Growth lines here are indistinct and uh, it has a strongly curved hinge line which is uh, also called teribratulial type with a small inter area confined to the pedicle valve. Ambu is more prominent on the pedicle valve and uh, a rounded foramen is seen here in the big region of the brachial valve. Its length is greater than the width. Next, this is Spirifer, which uh, shell is subtriangular in shape and biconvex in outline. The length of the shell is less than the width. The hinge line is spiriferi type with subarect beak. Both brachial and pedicle valves are ornamented by distinct radial line and few indistinct growth lines. The pedicle valve bears a distinct inter area which is interrupted by deltaidium. The brachial valve bears a prominent fold and the pedicle valve bears corresponding sulcus. Now you can see rhinoconilla which shell is subtriangular in shape. It is biconvex and the hinge line is strongly curved and short which is also known as subterebratulid type. The length of the shell is greater than the width. Ambu is sharp and more prominent to pedicle valve. The surface is ornamented with radial lines and granulated margins. The pedicle valve poses prominent fold and the brachial valve has a corresponding sulcus. The presence of two valves here confirm the presence of commissure. This is ornithella which shell is thick biconvex and oval in its outline. The length of the shell is greater than its width. Valves are equilateral with pedicle valve which is greater in dimension than the brachial valve. The ambo is more prominent on the pedicle valve producing an erect beak and beneath this a large circular forearm is present. Hinge line is much less than its width and it is also curved which is known as terebratulid type. The exterior surface is smooth but shows few barely growth lines. Now you can see platystrophia in your screen which shell is spiriferoid in form and it is biconvex and both valves are equal in size. The hinge line is long and strong with a beak. The brachial valve is bearing a prominent fold where pedicle valve has a corresponding sulcus. The surface of the shell is ornamented with prominent radial ridge and growth lines. Next, this is atripa, which shell is subcircular in outline and biconvex, and its width is greater than its length. It is ornamented by densely located radial lines, which are crossed by well-marked concentric growth lines. Hinge line is short and uh, slightly curved and the pedicle valve is convex near ambo and depressed in front. Lastly, this is strophomena. The length of the shell is quite less than the width. The shell is ornamented by growth line and radial line. The radial lines are densely located and growth lines are closer to each other. The hinge line is quite long and straight. The shell is characterized by narrow inter area which is interrupted by delta ITM. That's all for today. If this video seems helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.